Okay guys, something is wrong. Jim Cramer just tweeted by AMC. Gary Gensler, currently now at 10 a.m. He's speaking at the Investor Advisory Committee public meeting. Uh, we, we see the, the four points that Gary Gensler will be focusing. Uh, he will discuss the investor protection in digital world. Competition and regulatory reform at the public company accounting oversight board. I don't know what stays behind these topics. Is he planning to speak about uh, payment for order flow? Is he planning to speak about uh, more transparency of the order execution, dark pool? Uh, we will see. Hopefully, he usually uh, share uh, thoughts or a summarized version of what they talk about or what he said. So we're going to get back to him in the late afternoon. The current volume guys it's around 16 million which is uh, very very low in comparison with the volume that we usually see around 10 very close to 11 am yesterday uh, the stock uh, found its consolidation levels around 45 dollars and earn at the same levels all the way until 8 pm today pre-market hours we saw a run up uh, one hour before market open uh, all the way uh, to the highs of 46 and change AMC is still 4% uh, down currently, but it's weird. I didn't expect uh, short sellers to, to cut uh, the upward direction so early. Remember, we do have uh, options expiring Friday. So I did expect at least until noon to leave the stock to run up. So they will get a lot of more people buying options. But they cut the chain uh, since yesterday. They start shorting uh, AMC much harder yesterday. Uh, under the red line this definitely uh, chase off a lot of people buying more options which it's not necessarily a bad thing here looking at the options $50 strike price I'm still uh, surprised that $50 strike price it's uh, the most desirable strike price contracts are uh, almost the same as we can see 33,000 contracts for the strike price of $50 this week not so many people are buying contracts First, uh, the week, the week was uh, very, very short. Remember, we didn't have the Monday trading session. This means that uh, you're not going to utilize for options Monday or Friday. People are not waiting to buy options that are expiring at the very same day, right? So what you have, what you have Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, aka three days of the week, if you want to buy cheap options because they're expiring very, very soon. So this is, uh, in my opinion, a good sign. People are changing uh, the way they invest in AMC, which definitely will have an impact over the overall price action of the stock. Moving over the dark pool data from yesterday. Remember, yesterday was a very, very tricky day. Uh, I would say for majority of the day, we did see a red line. So, as we can see, dark pool percentage-wise, 61% of the trades were executed outside of public exchanges. This is interesting because if we lined up with the day before on Wednesday, they used 62%. But remember, uh, on Wednesday, we have a very, very good trading session. The whole trading session, the whole intraday was in the green. And the volume was over 100 million, similar like yesterday. But as we mentioned yesterday, we did see a lot of gaps of volume in which uh, we have when the market opened a gap of the volume. Then we have in the afternoon uh, around 1 p.m. another gap of the volume. This was the, the moments when the hedge funds actually utilized the same exact 61%. As we can see, less they use less trades executed outside the exchange, but they have much more impact over the price action. Uh, yesterday, the stock was down. Uh, between three and four percent i will not say unusual but uh, definitely we see an accelerate downtrend after gamestop earnings uh, we expected to see some correlation between the the price action of both stocks we saw the exact same thing during the q1 earnings report from gamestop accelerated sell off on the downtrend for uh, gamestop followed by the similar downtrend from amc and a lot of people ask me why Adam Aaron spent $25 million for the ad campaign. Guys, Adam Aaron is an entrepreneur, okay? Adam Aaron said he could put this $25 million, uh, against the debt. He can cover some of the debt. But he's an entrepreneur. He said, you know what? We can actually pay off our debt faster if we invest this $25 million in a way in which they will bring much more revenue. Much more revenue will pay off the debt much faster. Makes sense, right? He said... 
you know we're gonna invest we're gonna make ad campaign we're gonna bring people back to the theaters not just now for a particular movie that they love but full time uh, if you create this tradition again for people keep visiting cinema every weekend just think about it uh, especially now before the winter season when there is not much of a things to do outside right you either uh, eat somewhere in a restaurant or uh, in a coffee place with your friends and then you can go and and have a, a nice nice night out uh, watching uh, cinema watching movie especially Anna Meran offers uh, some of these sport events that will be live stream into the cinemas I think this is a great great idea subscribe to the channel my dear friends like this video and come back for more